Hello, everybody. It's episode 28. I'm Swarles. I'm here with Nick. Nick, hello. Hello. I, I am super ready for my pay-per-view. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tonight. It's, it's about to happen. Um, if you're watching this, like, in the future or something, um, today was the day that the Vince McMahon sex trafficking lawsuit came out. Um, and boy, Brock Lesnar sure was all over that thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There might be he's, some, uh, sharp left turns here, booking-wise. He, he's gonna go to the land of Chris Jericho soon. Uh, not even. Further away. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, unless you got anything you want to check up, we're just going to go right into Beach Break. Please, go ahead. All right. Truist Park, are we going to do it? Is it still, I mean, April is still kind of chilly. No. All right, hold on. I did the Southeast last time, so I want it to be in the Southeast here. But not Truist Park. All right. Um, what do we got? We're going to have to expand our search. Yeah, we're... Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Show us, like, 60,000 seats. Show us, like, 20K to 60K. Uh, apparently, Amelie Arena in Tampa is, is 20.5. Uh, a, a soccer... The soccer stadium in Orlando is 25K. Uh, that's at South Carolina. No, Orlando City so Soccer Club. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Carry on. You were like, how how did I go my whole life not knowing there's an Orlando City in South Carolina? There's no. First of all, there's a lot of stupid names. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It, it, I bet there is an Orlando in fucking one other state at the very least. Uh, you could run the trap. That's where the rumble is gonna be tomorrow let's, let's run the trap yeah that sure is run the trap the trap can hold way more than 25k i don't know why that's especially for a wrestling event where there would be like four seats and stuff i don't know why it's limited to that because that's how many people like you have to take the actual capacity and cut it in half and that's how many people will show up no but people crazy. people would actually be there for the royal rumble or for our show you know ah, okay. yeah okay what, I mean, let's we'll see what WWE claims for the Rumble. I'm sure they're going to claim something insane, like sixty thousand or something. Sixty thousand in Tropicana? It could hold like I mean, if you take all the tarps off, it could hold like forty two k for baseball. So I mean, sixty forty two thousand seat arena in Tampa. They, that it was the style at the time. They built it in like the early nineties. Okay. Now they make, like, you know, baseball stadiums, they make them all, like, 30,000 seats and charge you more money. Back then, it was, like, we add more seats to make more money. What if they could charge you more money and have 40,000 seats? Well, that we call that Yankee that, Stadium. Yep. <laughs> I was going to say, that is the rest of the... Yeah. Movies. Okay, so... Uh, the main event uh -huh. is a six-way match. For the world title. Get this over with quickly. Mm -hmm. It's Brock. It's Andrade. It's Ray Phoenix. It's MJF. Andrew Everett. Ricky Starks. And I went back and forth on this quite a bit. Ah, between MJF and Ray Phoenix, right? Mm hmm And I I decided on MJF winning the title back here. Uh, yes. I also emphatically was like, please put the title on MJF. Eddie Kingston and Ray Phoenix is a terrible match to headline my favorite review. Don't do this to me. <laughs> and... Like, even before you had, I was kind of of that decision. But, yeah, there was a moment, a fleeting moment in my mind where I was like, do I give Ray Phoenix a title? Yeah. 
I mean, um, that would be like a fun, like, oh my god, what an upset! Like you having him pin Brock, that'd be crazy. But yeah, like booking wise for what we've set up, I would have to like tear up the card I have for Double or Nothing. Um, I need some interferences here too. No, you don't. Uh, uh, all right, just make it storytelling. I get what you're saying. Okay. You sure you uh, want storytelling for your main event? What you want this to be then? Just nothing. I mean, I'm just, I'm just telling you, storytelling is gonna drag this down like five points. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, let's see. I think Phoenix can be attacked. I think. All right. Everett can be attacked. I think Andrade can be attacked. All the faces, right? I'm really trying to get you to just have Brock lose clean, because fuck him, you know what I mean? I mean, Brock's losing clean. He's yeah. not getting it. <laughs> like, I get that you're trying to tell stories, but, like, you know, fuck Brock, get him out of here. Is kind of how I'm feeling about it. Yes, and we will. But also, I'm using this to debut my new stable. All right. Which is... uh. Andrew Everett, you can be attacked by Mike Bailey. Okay. Uh, Andrade, you could be attacked by Filthy Tom Lawler. And Ray Phoenix, you could be attacked by Wheeler Yuta. This is our new stable. MJF, Filthy Ball, Wheeler Yuta. Okay. And uh, that's going to be it. Yeah. Okay. Just 10 minutes regular match. Yeah. Okay. Keep it easy. Keep it simple. Get the belt on someone we can move forward with. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, but we're not doing the TNT title. Okay. Brock didn't complain. I'm surprised. He knows. Yeah. He knows what he uh, did. I should probably end the pay-per-view with, like, MJF's group. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Tom. Mike. Wheeler. Probably put MJF on the mic, being like, you know, I love it when a plan comes together. That kind of yep. stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, do you want to rate these other guys? Nah. Yeah. How long? Uh, he could actually cut the whole like this is the new group type thing. Sure. Especially because the match is only ten minutes. We got time. Right. He could go six on the mic here. Yeah. Uh, MJF introduces the world to the Devil's Court. Oh boy. The Devil's Court is such a TW name. I got you. Yeah. I've been doing this for a decade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... So before that would be Nero Punk. Um, so. Mm -hmm. I would like this to be a wild brawl. Okay. Uh, Punk is going to win. Uh huh. But. I would like a dusty finish in there as well. Okay. You're really cooking this week, huh? So, uh, uh, this is going to be the thing. It's going to be like a really quick flurry from Nero. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be like a one minute knockout, like the MMA fight. But referees are going to disagree. Okay. So the match will be restarted. And... With, on the restart, you're going to get Jay White interfering on okay. Nero. Punk's going to win. 
Well, that's not so much a dusty finish, because the dusty finish is like overturning it. Uh, just a restart. Was, yeah. I mean, I guess there's no like real. Is that a thing? Yeah, I don't know if that's in here. Right. I'm just going to do interference from Jay White. Sure. But we know. Yeah. Yuta's turn is happening earlier in the show, Thunder. So your confusion is warranted. I mean, again, as always, you could book these in the other order. It would be fine. That's fine. Okay. I wanted to get the back thing when I got up there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I would like... This is going to be an angle here. Okay. Um, Mercedes Monet and Venny are beating down Hikaru Shida. Oh no. When Davita debuts to save Hikaru Shida. I'm just going to do fighting for everybody. And have a big old stare down with... Davina, sorry. I don't know why I wrote Davita. That is just not right. Oh, day it's Tony Davita. <laughs> yeah. That's her new gimmick. It's Italian. Davies to save Hikaru. From Big old Mo Monet Davina stare down. How long do you want this? Four is fine, mm -hmm. right? I don't think they could carry a six minute fighting segment no. as much as I uh, especially after fighting in an actual match give them 20 okay I would like Hikarashita to win Via disqualification. Oh, okay. So far, your show has one clean finish, and that was because I was like, Nick, your Brock's losing clean. <laughs> no, no. I had Brock losing clean there, too. Okay. Although it's not a clean finish, because everyone else got attacked. Yeah, everyone else got they attacked. They could have won. Yeah. Uh, no. No beach break. No clean finishes. <laughs> Okay, I mean, this is on pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah, we, we right. are channeling WCW as much as we can. Okay. Um, Do, any Venny's, other notes? Yeah, v Venny gets caught in her hair. Okay. So that's this. This is the classic two people having a 20-minute match for a run-in finish. Skiff would be losing his mind. It, it is not a run-in finish. Venny is acting as a manager and gets caught cheating. Okay. And... Mercedes is, is disqualified. What's up, Daredevil? <laughs> Mercedes Monet is unhappy. Uh, let's see. I want to see what the difference is. Uh, yeah, I mean, she is more over. I mean, it is a DQ finish. Oh, market is tainted. Sorry. Right? Is that is that tainted? I think it's actually cheap. Cheap, yeah, it's cheap. Yeah. Should, yeah, it's not clean. Uh, kind of, let's see, cheap, cheap finish. Still mad. How much do I care? What's up, Tom? Fuck Vince McMahon, indeed. Uh, listen, I was all like, "Oh, I should have taken Mercedes." You can't bring her to your brand and then piss her off. Can and with um uh, but if i give her the belt she's just not gonna lose it i just gotta build someone up also like if you gave her a big run then at that point it's like well we got what we got out of her instead of pissing her off immediately okay i mean if you're gonna do interference why not just do a draw you know what i was legitimately thinking about putting the belt on monet uh -huh. and decided on Sheeta like two weeks ago, I think. Mm -hmm. Daredevil brings up a good point. Uh, you you always hate it, but we can ask her to put Sheeta over. 
Yeah, ask her. Yeah. If she says no, she'll get the belt. Right. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> <Tell her>, yeah. <laughs> uh, how would you like to put someone over? Oh, we have too many people. We have too many people. She's willing to do it. All right, let's go. Thank you, Daredevil. I don't even think about that because it's never worked for me. So. Nailed it. Perfect. Uh, uh, singles match. Kyle O'Reilly versus Adam Cole. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Adam Cole is going to overcome the odds. So there will be shenanigans, but Cole is going to overcome. Do you want to do, like, botched interference? Yes. Okay. That is exactly what I want to do. From whom? And I want it to be Sammy Guevara who botches it. Not Sammy Guevara. Yeah, he would never mess anything up for a stable. No, never. How long do you want this? Uh... This feels like a storytelling, so give him 16. Okay. Let him do an NXT match. Yeah, someone uh, someone earlier was like, oh, here, Nick's booking all the NXT, NXT people. His brand is, like, slowly but surely trying to get into, like, 2016 NXT. How dare you? Is just it because I, I enjoyed 2016. Yeah, just because I have Finn Balor and Sasha and Bailey and Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. There's no way those people <laughs> were in NXT at the same time. Uh, I think all I think the only ones that wouldn't have been there are like Adam Cole and Kyle. Yeah. I think they were later. Nakamura, yes, thank you. That's another one. Malkai, Andrade. Well, he's also, like, later. He wouldn't have been there at the same time. I just, I've taken all of them. All yeah. of Hunter's boys and gals. Just bring them on over. Phil has a place for them on Saturday nights. Uh, uh, I got Gargano, though. That was my one. Oh, I got Ciampa. You too. got Ciampa. You got Ciampa because I was like, I refuse to have them on the same brand. Enough. <laughs> We're not doing this again. I have Swerve, I have Keith Lee. Yep. You know what? Actually, commenter, you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do you like that. No, it's okay. Um, before the match, I would like to have a short backstage interview with Renee and Adam Cole. And Adam Cole is going to cut uh promo recapping the feud you know him and kyle they've been through a lot together he thought that they were brothers that they would be together for a while and uh kyle kyle turned his back to join the bullet club of all things uh, <laughs> the bullet club what is this 2015 uh yeah and uh, adam cole is going to try and give an impassioned speech about Kyle O'Reilly betraying him and him beating Kyle O'Reilly and trying to beat sense into him so they could be friends again. How long is he going on this? This was three minutes in my head, but as I'm talking, it might be four or five. I don't right, know. We'll give him five. Yeah. Let him cook. Fuck it. I'm not writing all that stuff you said, though. It's just an impassioned speech. Do you, do you want to script him? No. Let him okay. cook. Let him cook. Can you check? Uh-huh. The... Oh, no, never mind. I moved this to the pre-show and forgot to... because they Okay. Both. It was Yamashita Risa Sarah, but I don't think they could be on the main show. Um, I mean, we can check. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Unfortunate. House of Black versus Bullet Club Gold. 
tag title match. Unfortunate. Uh, I was looking for Alistair Black. I I was in twenty. Really I was in twenty fifteen really NXT. NXT mode. Yeah. Uh, all right. So Buddy Murphy and Alistair Black. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, Brody, Brody, and Sammy are gonna win here. Okay. How long? Uh, ten. Ten's fine. Here. All right. Do you have a particular winner in mind? Sammy. Anything else? Nope. Okay. I. And next we are going to do Penta versus Christian in a death. Oh, okay. but it's, it's, it's just like a street fight or whatever. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think we could do a death match. No, it's one of those things where they're they're advertising it as such, but then when it actually happens, they just whack each other with kendo sticks. And I got you. Yeah. Uh, we are going to have. Twelve minute wild brawl, I think here. Okay. If Christian can do it. If he complains, he complains. We'll, we'll move it down. Not he complains, but if the, they tell us no. And... Okay. I was just curious to see if Christian was good at hardcore, because I was like, they actually might have a good hardcore match, because, yeah, Penta's good at hardcore, but Christian's yeah. not really. But I thought, like, maybe because he was good at ladder matches, they would give him a high hardcore rating or something stupid like that. Yeah, especially since that's not what that match is based rated off of. Hmm. I I would like Penta to win here. I mean, Penta should be the more over of the two guys, shouldn't he? It's about the same. Should be fine. Okay. Yeah, I would like Penta to win here. Anything else? Uh, no. No. Fine. Um, we will then have... I'm trying to think of what I want to start the show with. Yeah, so we're gonna... We're gonna do Mustafa Ali and Jay White next. This... Give him 20 here. Okay, didn't see that coming. They've been, Mustafa's been really good mm -hmm. since I brought them in. So I'm just kind of adding more and more things here. Um, I think I think I want Mustafa to win this. Okay. And this timeline is Edge still with WWE? No, he's just not. He's, he's, just, he's just available. He's just free agent. Not doing anything. Uh, he might, no good. He might be fighting uh, Minoru. It's just he's not doing it here. Yeah. Um, just an open match that is good. Okay. And yeah, that's all. And Swarley. Yes. After the match, mm -hmm. Jay White offers a hand to Mustafa Ali. Oh, you son of a bitch. And Mustafa takes it and the two shake hands. The code of honor. You know, two people well known for their League of Honor runs. Yes. Uh, listen, young boy Jay White had a great Ring of Honor run. What do you want to rate them on? It's going to be over. It's like a minute. Yeah. Okay.
while we're doing angles, we'll do the post-match angle for the uh, the opening match as well. So this is going to be um, Wheeler Yuta, Mike Bailey, and Filthy Tom Lawler beating down Mox and Ciampa. And Hook. And given the star quality of the fighters, let's keep this at three minutes here. Okay, Filthy Ball and Yuta beat up BCC. And your opening contest is a singles match for the FTW world title. It's Hook versus John Moxley. Uh, poor chemistry. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I hear you. Hold on. Okay. Remember all that booking I did where I said it was going to be John Moxley and Hook at the pay per view? Uh huh. Yeah, I, I definitely said that it was going to be a triple threat match. Uh huh. Between Hook, John Moxley, and Wheeler Yuta. Of course, we all do that. Yeah. How long is this? Uh, this is going to be... Can they do... Can they do a steal the show to start us off here? Uh, I don't know. Would you even be checking for that? I mean, Mox can. Mox yeah. is not the one I'm worried about. Hook's the one I'm worried about, I'll be honest. Me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's just do a regular match here. Alright. Uh, 16. Finish. Well, it would make more sense here if Wheeler Yuta won with interference from Filthy Ball. So let's do that now. Uh, I'm gonna say you want Hook to lose. Yes. Tom Baylor, uh, Tom Baylor, Tom Lawler and Mike Bailey all over the show without having a match. Just running they in have, on everything. They have a match on the pre-show. Oh, okay. They have an announced match on the pre-show, too. But, yeah. Speaking of which, the pre-show. Mm-hmm. That announced match was a... Just gonna throw this out here. If you want to put it on the main show, you have plenty of time. It would be weird. Okay. Because it's a match for a match later on the show. Okay, okay. Which is usually a pre-show thing. Yeah. Um, Four-way tag match. So, four corners tag team match. Your teams are... House of Black. Private Party. The acclaimed and filthy ball. Okay. And House, of, House of Black wins to get the spot in the match later. Uh, I'm gonna do you a favor just to make sure. Like, you probably don't want Lawler or Bailey taking a loss here. I was going to say Max can take a loss here. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Anything else? Uh, uh, no, that's fine. All right. And then to round it out, let's do Rina Yamashita versus Risa Sira on the pre-show. Wild Brawl style. And given who is... Uh... 
this has to continue now. Uh, so I think this is going to be the thing where, like, the referees lose control of the match. Uh -huh. And it's double DQ. Yep. Double disqualification is like a specific. Yeah, there it is. This is this is the WCW uh, ninety two finish. Ah yes, yeah. yes. They yeah. also are going to kill all of the referees and agents. Yes, and then you will have to find the special referee, and it will still be Ken Shamrock. Weirdly enough. Yeah. Yeah. It is Matt Thunder. It is fine to have two matches with the same style. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put them back to back. I think you might get a penalty for that, but, like, I don't think I did. Oop, didn't make that pre-show. Yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> Alright, hit, hit me with a booking analysis. Who did I forget? Uh, Pack, Shinsuke Nakamura, Swerve. <laughs> oh, I completely skipped over the Swerve and Keith Lee match. Oh, yeah, you sure did. I, I booked that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told you, yeah. You have plenty of time. All right, so that's after the KOR, or before the KOR Cole match is where that should be. Okay. And this should be a double turn. A double turn? Swerve turn face, Keith Lee turn heel. Okay. Do you want to do that with a post-match promo or in this match? No, I want this to be the match. Okay. Uh, and they're, they're turning on each other, I guess. <laughs> oh, they're turning each other on, all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've been edging for like two years now. <laughs> they sure, yeah, they have. Uh, Swerve wins. All right. This should be storytelling. Mm-hmm. And it should be like 20 minutes. You want to put Keith Lee in a 20 minute match? That's why I'm saying it should be, but uh -huh. let's, let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right. I mean, before we even do that, I want to check. I want to check big man's stamina. 64. It's not bad. He could probably do it. It's fine. <laughs> I I think it should be half of what it is in in the game, but he, he could probably that do might it. have been his his stamina ten yeah. years ago. Pre, yeah, I mean, pre pre COVID. This is pre COVID yeah. stats. Uh yeah. The story here is Keith Lee is particularly brutal to try and win. Swerve keeps kicking out. Keith keeps getting more and more frustrated. Swerve keeps showing more heart. They eventually, hopefully, the crowd. Turns towards Swerve, and Swerve gets the win at the end. And you wanted this after Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole? Before. before. So before the promo. Before the promo, sure. Yeah, I'll give him a hot story and then cool him down with the Adam Cole promo. Sure. So uh, now it's just Shinsuke. It's just Shinsuke, yeah. And uh, Pack. Uh, all right. Oh, Pocket is a heel the whole damn time. Uh huh. He's the bastard. Yeah, but he's with the Death Triangle. Uh, we're going to do a six man tag in the pre show because we don't know what to do. All right. When in doubt? Yeah. It is going to be. The Bastard and Shinsuke Nakamura. Are they both heels? No. Oh. Listen, don't worry about it. And Kushida San Sunglasses. Okay. The, the way you ignore your face heel drives me insane. I just want to say it. Pac has been being booked as a face this entire time. <laughs> Okay, I'm literally surprised he's a heel because okay. I've never booked him as a heel. Right. He feuded like Christian, and that's about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're facing uh, Baron Goodlife, Ethan, 
Paige, Braxton Souther. What a team. Who's winning, Pack or Shinsuke? Uh, Pack wins. And gets the sunglasses back for Kushida. Finish the story, bro. Finish the story. What are we getting yelled at about? Uh, Paul Turner's doing too much refing. Okay. Hey, let someone else ref, Paul. Yeah. Jeez. We can, we can fix that. No problem. Aubrey, get out there. Uh, we also obviously have to do an angle where they get the sunglasses. Yeah. Although he's a heel now, so maybe you should just snap the sunglasses in half. No, no, no. Yeah, I know. No, 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 no. Kushida gets his sunglasses back. This is the first match Kushida has won, uh, I think, maybe ever. Correct. Yeah. And it was for the, the honor of his sunglasses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I th I think that's our show. Okay. Oh, boy. I think it'll do fine. I think it's going to be like an 85. Mm. 81. Okay. I well, also MJF that, but... promo is going to get 100, yeah. so that might tilt it. But I feel like on a pay-per-view, that should matter less. I don't know that it does, though. It does. Because the angle ratio would only be 20%. So yeah. you are correct. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I got a feeling. Okay. I believe in my boy, the big dog. All right. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're using facts and logic. Yeah. And I'm using nothing. So. Okay. Perfectly fine little undercard match. Yes. Uh, just making sure Pop gets out there. Was, was MJF Stable always supposed to debut on this show? That's a great question for Nick. Yes. Yes. Okay. There you go. But they were going to debut without MJF. So that it was just going to be the end of the Mox thing, and MGF would be revealed at a later time. I see. So, yes, the stable would have started, but it would have been like an undercard stable at that point. They got the sunglasses back. Equal equal heat for the sunglasses as for the match. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. Telling stories. Telling stories. Uh, 62? I mean, it's a good match. Yeah, that's the most frustrating thing is, like, I know if these two weren't penalized, I could absolutely put them on the show. Yeah. But, unfortunately, I I accidentally tanked Rena's uh, momentum. Mm -hmm. Accident <laughs> accidentally had her lose a bunch. Whoops. Yep. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Uh, yeah, this is good. This definitely could have been on the show, but like I said, uh, we, we needed people to tune in on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yes, we definitely need that. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good opener. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, all mocks, but good opener. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yes. So the original plan here was uh, Moxley losing to hook or winning by dq to hook depending on how he felt about it and the beat down happening after that but now it just happens in the match okay 61 for these guys beating up the other guys yep good little good little stable debut uh -huh. another 81 Let's go. You questioned me when I put this at 20 minutes. Mm hmm That's, I mean, I might have a main eventer here in Mustafa. I mean, Jay White was the better guy. Yeah, but Jay White's already a main event talent, oh, obviously. I'm telling you. The main eventer here is Jay White. 
Yeah, you're right. Yes. 69 for the handshake. Let's go. They gave us a meme score for a, a meme segment. And... 73? All right. It's yeah. about what I expected. Yeah. Could They probably did some stupid shit, though. Well, this was just a wild brawl. It wasn't... Like, it that's wasn't true. a hardcore match. It wasn't like the Christian yeah. Darby match. Yeah, that's why I checked hardcore. Because I was like, Christian might low-key be good at hardcore, but he wasn't. The game, the mod maker wasn't on the same page as me. He wasn't privy. Yeah. To... Uh, let's see. What do we got? Tag title match, 72. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, it was, what, two points better than the pre-show? Yep. Tag match? Yeah. Yep. Boy, these tag belts, they need a refresher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nick asked me who his tag champs were before we went live. Just throwing that out there. Man, you ain't got to do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I told him who his tag champs were, and he was like, you sure? And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Just because I wrote down... House of Black or Bullet Club Gold, whoever is champion, in my notes for some reason. Oh, man. Uh, this got a yeah. 79. It was solid. I, you're you're doing good on scores here in the sense that you're like 74, 69, and they're pulling a 79. It was a good story. Yeah, I guess. Let's do these ch changes. Let's see. Keith Lee. Uh, eight, segments. eight segments. You'll be fine. Yep. Complete success. Okay. Swerve, 19 segments. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, man. Complete success. There you All go. Right. We did it. We also did it in the sense that we finally had the Swerve and Keith Lee match. Yes. Yeah. Maybe that's why I got a 79. The fans were like, holy shit, it's actually happening. Yeah. Beach Break 2024 might be when the match happens in real life, too. Oh, boy. Yeah. 82 for Adam Cole. Telling a story. Oh, God. Story yeah. told time with Adam Cole. I mean, Cole. the thing you laid out really was story time with Adam Cole. Yes, it was. It would have been, you know, I met a guy back in Ring of Honor. And he would have, like, gone through the whole fucking thing. Yeah, that's, I mean, yes, that's yes. what he did. Yep, 76. Yep, Kyle yep. couldn't beat Adam Cole because Sammy Guevara is Sammy a dork. Sammy Guevara. Seventy-five for the women, pretty good. I mean, Sheeta was the better worker, so mm -hmm. glad I did not move the title over. But let's see how Davina does. Uh, not great. No, no. They were not. Oh, were she's not... doing her hugger gimmick. That's unfortunate. We got an initial rating of adequate. Wow, we really are just at NXT yeah. 2015. I think adequate is how she would be received if she did the hugger gimmick. I think people would just kind of be like, oh, you're doing, okay. Yeah. You're... yeah. Uh, all right. You're like 35 now. The char charm's kind of gone, you know? <laughs> now this is just weird. I'll figure oh, out. Oh, okay. Miro and Punk. All right. This is definitely going to do better than 81. Yeah, I did a wild brawl on this, I think. Yeah, you did. And uh, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, I slept on Mirror and Punk. Yeah, because I, I do, I do think the main event though is going to be in the seventies. I considered having this main, but I yeah. just, I can't, I can't, can't not do the title. Yeah, especially with the title changing, you got to do the main. Event. Yeah. No, it's got ninety-five. Fuck me. Let's fucking go. Yeah. The match had a lot of interference. It sure did. You're telling uh, me, game. But yeah, we got 83, 82, 85, 80. Yeah, I should make this full screen. What the fuck am I doing? I, I don't know. Why was she said to do Hunger Gimmick when she hasn't done that in five years? Uh, it's probably because we set her to... Uh, we used a different uh, alter ego. She also hasn't been a face in five years. Yeah, that too. So that was legitimately her last face gimmick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Andrew, 65. Ricky starts 64. Yeah. They were very much the other guys in this match. 
Yeah, well, yeah. you know. Yeah. Still got 85. And of course, 100. Yeah, you are you are looking at the fucking Devil's Court here, baby. The Devil's Court. 86. You nailed it. Yeah, I knew. Yeah. Those Banes fucking knocked it out of the park. I, I really didn't, like, because normally when we do, like, big multi-man matches, it kind of just levels out to being okay, but I guess six-way dances are different somehow. If this was a tag match, yes, but yeah. the idea is everyone's in the ring at the same time in a six-way. I know that's not how you put it together, but, like, yeah. you're See, not, this, like, tagging them out. And this is one of the things where I just, like, disagree with the game. I think six-man tags are better than six-way matches. I think six-way matches are kind of a clusterfuck. Yeah, you, you ain't gotta convince me. Yeah. I, I agree with you. Would you like to make a speech? Yes. Uh, Mercedes Monet should be pointed out as a good example. Yes. Uh, Miro should be complimented. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Brock Lesnar should be verbally eviscerated. Yes, thank you. Um, told that they're worthless. I don't told that they're worthless, verbally eviscerated, and repeatedly insulted are all looking pretty good. I verbally eviscerated sounds like the harshest. Yeah, it does. So let's go with that. He might fight us. Miro's there. He's got our back. Mercedes pleased. Miro's pleased. Miro. See, that's why we say Miro first, because now we got Miro on our side. Yeah, we we call him up to the front of the yeah, room yeah, yeah. too when we say that, and we keep him there. We're like, don't. <laughs> yeah well we're also a giant panda oh yeah you know what fuck, let's yeah. let him try fuck around and find out he's not too concerned for now <laughs> well he should be concerned yeah i mean he's gone that's it yep that's it brock and eddie kingston would have been so cool you you were cooking yeah I mean, people keep asking, like, when was Brock going to lose Brock? I was going to really push hard for, to Nick to let Eddie Kingston beat him. Not at double no. or nothing, but probably at uh, Forbidden Door. No, you weren't. I was, you would have you would have pushed. To. You would have pushed mildly, and I would have started pushing as well. Oh, well, whatever. I was ready. Oh, boy, we're eating a lot of money on this. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Shinsuke says, fuck Brock Lesnar. Shinsuke knew. Yeah. This, time. Th this is definitely heat from fucking New Japan in 2005 or whatever the fuck. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Yeah. All right, goodbye. Yeah, not even a billion dollars. Not that much money. Yeah, so we got money. Uh, what? <laughs> Well then. Yeah. I don't think he was named. Let's, yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, do we do we want to go after? Uh, we could probably just try to steal Seth too. Uh... Hey. Seth would be funny because he also hates punk, so he could join your brand. Yeah, he could join my brand. I mean, that'd be very funny. I'm down. What's Seth getting? Seth's only getting, like, 68s. That was... I don't think that was in America. I mean, no, he's getting a 70. Okay, yeah. You know what? Let, let's look at a pay-per-view. Let's let's look at uh, World Heavyweight title WrestleMania. Now he got a 69. Oh, Seth might be... Seth might be donezo. Yeah, we might not want Seth. I mean, I'm assuming he would want a lot of money. Uh, oh, he pissed off Eddie, though. Oh, he did piss off Eddie. Yeah, we're right. Now we're done. All right. Also, John Cena should John Cena should be like super cooked, but I, I'm still curious. That overness might carry. Oh, dude. he's so over. Oh my god. I know he's 47, but yeah. Yeah, he's been on a part-time deal. What did he do? I mean, he did better than fucking Seth Rollins in these matches. He did 76. Yeah. And he's rejected, so it wouldn't even be a bidding war. 
No, we'd just be like, hey, yeah. come in, do some things, leave, you know. Yeah. Here's the thing, though, and I'm just going to throw this out here. John Cena is also a little Vince McMahon freak. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why yeah. Do we, uh, why do we not? Yeah, I, I feel that way, too. No, listen, not accusing John of anything. But he's also one of these people that, when asked, is always like, I love Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon is a follower to me. He, Vince McMahon, I, I owe everything to him. Like, he's he's weird. Uh, yeah. He yeah. gets he get, he get you. Yeah, I, I do want to see how much he wants. And who gets mad. No one gets mad. Everyone would be excited. Oh, he wants a lot of money. That's, like, Brock Lesnar money. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, he he's mean. he's more over than Brock. To be fair, so is Danielson. <sighs> Not even close to the same. <sighs> Danielson was like, hey, they give me good opportunities and I like my time there. Yeah. John Cena's like, I worship the ground. That, yeah, that yeah. man. It's, yeah. it's a bit different. I mean, Danielson is literally related to Johnny Ace, which is unfortunate, but that's more of a weird circumstances thing. I mean, yeah, I don't think he chose yeah. that relationship. No. Yeah, I don't think he was like, hey, Brie, your mom should date Johnny Ace. Uh, although if he did, it's fucked up. Um, yeah, I'm kind of good on stealing people from WWE for a while after we got burned so bad on this Brock thing. Uh, yeah. I mean, it depends on who comes up, but... Yeah. I mean, at this point, the only person I would want is, like... I don't even know. Fucking... Oscar. I want Oscar. Oscar, yeah. Um, I would want Ricochet. I mean, I would let you have him. I know. You really... Know. you Listen... You really do want every 2015 NXT guy. You have to accept that about yourself. Listen, I was... I liked Ricochet before he went to NXT. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, I was watching him in 2006 in Chikara, but yeah, I'm just saying, just, like... I'm not bringing in Ricochet, the NXT worker. I'm bringing in Prince Puma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, e EO. Yeah, EO would be... I don't know. I'd have to look at EO's stats. See what she's getting now. Julia, what's up? Oh, Julia's a little over in America. Like, not especially, but... Uh, her stats aren't as good as I thought they'd be. Man, she looks like she would be a great heel. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, no! <laughs> oh, she's getting good numbers in stardom, but she's also probably much more over there. Yeah, like, she's getting 70s in stardom... But in Japan, yeah, she's like yeah, super whoa, old in Jesus. Japan. Yeah, no, we're gonna she, she should stay we're gonna let Stardom keep her. Yeah. God damn, there's so many fucking news things today. They just keep going. Uh... Doesn't seem like anything. No, I mean. I, like, I just want to see how far these keep going, you know? Can we hit a hundred? Yeah. Oh, oh 96! Boo! Mm -hmm. Chase Owens oh, joins all Japan. God. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. What? The? Holy shit. Okay. I guess this is just the time when everything expires. Is this, like... Did we start in May? Uh, year, June. Started? It started in okay. June. So, That's yeah, it's like almost a year. Oh, yeah, no, it would be a year, because these are all coming up now, meaning yeah. they expire. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, uh, cool. Commander got extended with AAA. Yeah, sure. Uh, Penta no Muerte. Where did he go? That's, that's Mercedes that's Martinez. Mercedes. Yeah. Well, whatever. Mercedes Martinez. Uh, I would, I'm, I'm just now doing stuff with her. Yeah, please don't go. Yeah. Please don't I'll go. give you uh Damn, she's forty three. Uh let's go one year. Alright. Penta. How long of a contract would you like to give Penta? Two years. Damn, he's thirty nine. I didn't realize he was that old. 
Penta's been doing shit for like a yeah. decade now, hasn't he? Yeah, but that, I mean, I guess that just means he was older when he broke out than I thought he was. But, like, he was doing stuff in Mexico before. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, so. I just assume all popular luchadors are, like, five years older than Secretly old as hell, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Phoenix is only 33. Yeah, that, well, he was a baby in, yeah. in fucking Lucha Underground, so. Yeah, keep that man around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, you want. Whatever, whatever you, you want. want. Whatever you want. You want six hundred more dollars a month? Yeah, man. Yeah. Go. You could have asked for so much more, bro. Uh, Shivani's another one. It's like, yeah, he's old, but we're not gonna replace him. So, like, I don't know. You want three years? Three years is probably fine. Give him till the meme age, and then look. Yeah. Then we'll go nice. Rocky. Rocky's one. Oh well, he's getting extended. By New Japan of America. I was gonna say Rocky's one we could probably let go. Uh Serena Deeb. Also works as an agent. That's true. Kind of and she's a pretty good agent. And she's a pretty good worker too. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep her around. Yeah. For like two years. Especially since there's someone else on that list that I'm pretty sure we're not gonna resign, so. You don't want to keep Colton Gunn around? Did we get rid of Billy? I don't remember. I think we did. Okay. How is Colton here, but not Austin? No idea. I mean, we're letting him go, right? Yeah, he could go. He's 32. Everyone's He's so 32. old. Uh, we have a lot of TV deals expiring. Daniels yeah. is getting extended. Soraya. Oh, sweet. Soraya's gone. Fuck yeah, yes. That, that's the one I was talking yeah. about, by the way. Be our live deal expiring. Uh, Dynamite for TBS. We got to look at these TV deals. I feel like we could probably bump these up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, Colton is expiring. He's just way further down. Oh, Colton no, it's just, it's just yeah, Colton. It's just Colton, it's Colton again. again. Yeah, fuck. All right. Uh, Beach Break, 250,000 buys. Sure. Delete all. Alright, broadcasting. Uh, so, we just use... Oh, we do use BR Live for our pay-per-views, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we could do better than that. We'll negotiate, yes. Uh, let's just look at America for now. Oh, pretty much everyone will talk to us. All right, well, what's TBS? How big are they? They're big. So, actually, we might just want to extend with them, because I don't... Yeah, it... TBS is good. Yeah, like, big is the biggest one, right? No. What's the biggest one? Huge? Very it's big. Very big. There's, I think, enormous as well, but I don't... I don't know. Nothing should happen in the year of our Lord 2024. I so. mean, Fox. AW no. on Fox is weird. Yeah, it's weird. Also, SmackDown is still on Fox in this universe. Huh. Yeah. Good, good for them. But uh, yeah, I think we just extend with uh, with TBS. Not that one. Not that one. Yes. That's the. Uh, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, for Dynamite, where the fuck is oh. it? Top one. Top. Oh, it's literally a top one, of course. Alright, let's extend our deal for Dynamite, man. Uh... Oh, they won't give you prime time. Why not? That's when we're on right now. Oh, it, it's the split. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. It's a split. It's a split. I was like, "Wow, they are fucking on you." <laughs> yeah. All right. So fifty-five is literally the breaking point. So we could do a fifty-fifty split, which I think is fine. Uh, let's ask for like multiple years. Yeah. Let's go like uh, I don't know, th three. Uh, proposed deal. All right. 
cool. Cool. Um, Rampage, Rampage was running out too, right? Three years. Oh, okay. Uh, there, G there was other stuff like running out. For me. What was that? Collision. The collision should be fine. I'm just going to go down and see what's almost out. Dazone Europe. I, I don't know. I mean, it's very small, although I don't... They cover a weird area, so I don't know what else is even there. And we could look and see what else is there and see if we could upgrade it. But yeah. like, I don't think that... I, yeah, I, I kind of don't care, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we're on Toonami in Western Europe. Okay. And then the other one was BR Live. That was ending, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and BR Live is small. Yes, we should not be on. We BR should Live. not be on BR Live. That is one we need to. Okay, that is one we need to fix. Yes. So you want to do your type here? I think is what you. Yeah. Terrestrial pay per view. Or cable pay per view. I think it is. Yeah, do cable. See, I don't, it depends on what the mod maker did it as. So I'm trying to think of what the mod maker would have done. Yeah, they did cable. Okay. Okay. Well, cable vision is big, so that seems like a huge upgrade. Yeah, yeah. we should probably be big. Yeah, we should probably be big. Okay. Uh. Events. Events. Don't put dynamite on cable vision. <laughs> That'd be fucking wild. Let me cook! <laughs> uh, new Going. deal for events. Uh, prime time. Will you give us 50%? No. No. Oh, they want a minimum of 12 episodes. That's fine. We do, we do that. We be doing that around yeah. here. 30%, that's fine. Yes. Alright, great. We're on cable vision. And then I guess we should look for one for Europe. Yeah, you don't want your European commenters getting mad at you. No. Although that's probably going to be internet pay-per-view, because I don't... Yeah, there's no cable pay-per-view. Well... DAZN was for the shows, wasn't it? Not for... No, it was events. It might have been both. The fight. The fight's everywhere. We're already on fight. I'm pretty sure it was just the shows for DAZN. Alright, well then, let... you know what? Let's just do this. Show me everything in Europe, because I don't think there's a lot of options. <laughs> I think that's the best idea. Yeah. Uh... Oh, we could we could go on max. We didn't really even consider that. Oh, yeah, it's fine. And it's owned by Warner. Yeah, that would have made a lot of money. That would have made a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't really care. Um. Europe? I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna renew with the zone. Okay. Nothing else is really calling to me here let us know how we're mispronouncing that name it's the i'm i i know it everyone knows it's the dazen uh extend our deal this is dynamite right yep yes dynamite and rampage sure. you could do both from this screen like at this the same time no like oh. one after the other. oh yeah well i know that uh, dynamite. Listen, two years, man. Sure. I'll take the most. Oh, they they will give us like so much of the percentage. <laughs> please, uh, please. Yeah. <laughs> Just sure.
You ever take a big drink and then like frantically look down to see if you're muted? So that's what I just did. Uh, not really. Sometimes I do just take a drink and then forget and then go fuck. But <laughs> that's about it. All right, we're all we're all set. We actually uh, everyone else is going on uh, digital, but we double down on traditional. We we're on fucking cable vision pay per view and Turner Broadcasting System. Let's go. Like it's fucking nineteen ninety eight. That fifty plus demo is ours, baby. Uh no. They never left Fox, so they are still going to own that. <laughs> that's true, yeah, that's them. true. That just looks like a like an old businessman. Mm-hmm, yeah. It's because it's an old businessman. Ah, fuck. You got me. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's just retiring in ring from in rings. Yeah, but still. Yeah, I mean, you're right. How long does this give us? Uh, uh three months did it say? Three months. Yeah. You have the young bucks. I sure do. Triple A, get the fuck out of here, Triple A. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to tell them to fuck off. Are they going exclusive? They are going exclusive. Oh, you motherfuckers. Being seriously considered 40,000. 10 grand signing bonus. Yeah. Eat shit. 50 grand. 70, no, 75. Fuck them. <laughs> we print money. <laughs> 60 Five. grand. Uh, where's the bonus? 10% bonus, third from the bottom. No, 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 this one. Signing bonus. Oh, signing bonus. Uh, what do you want, man? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the yes one, right? Yes. All right, right. Uh, they're also trying to get Ray Phoenix, which I guess makes sense. Thirty-three thousand. Does, do you think maybe... No, I mean, again, fucking 50k. Fuck off. Also, we went exclusive written first. Yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> I wasn't really even paying attention to that. They responded by being like, ah, fuck. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we can just completely blow them out of the water. Three months. Yeah. Three months. Three months. Oh, so we doing a Sting retirement match at Forbidden Door? No. Three months would be the pay per view after, right? Right. But what I'm saying is fuck that. I'm doing it at Forbidden Door. Also, that might be your pay-per-view? Oh, it would be. You're right. Uh, yeah, Collision Brand. Yeah, Forbidden Door. Mm. Who's Sting's final match against? I don't know. We'll think about it. Is this the first time in this series that someone actually tried to take your talent? I th possibly. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and we responded very violently. Yeah, we responded by doubling the offer and telling them to get fucked. <laughs> Things are real different in the uh, WCW 92 save. The, the Japanese economy has not tanked yet. They are throwing money around. New Japan is signing Sid for like 100k a month. It's wild. That's 100k 90s money, too. Yeah. Get the fuck. 
<laughs> okay, we get it. We can't get Phoenix, but Penta, he's not considering it. No, he's not considering it. Yeah, we're offering him so much more. Max Caster got loaned to the NWA because of the IWTV alliance? Because he works for Beyond. And NWA got bumped down to the IWTV alliance. Uh, I, I mean, remember both of those things. I don't really care enough about Max Caster to sign him to exclusive written. I just more feel bad for him. You know what I mean? Same. Yeah. I'm sure he'll do a great rap on NWA. Oh, boy. This is... Oh, fuck. I got to book stuff. Fuck. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Uh, wrestler's court absorbed in his phone. Okay. Small positive, alright. And then Danielson's a good teacher. Yep. Yeah, for both of these. Perfect. Alright, great. Uh, where did I run last week? I don't remember. I need to bump this down. To like 7k. To the 15k region. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this... I don't... I don't remember, like, I don't pay a fucking attention to WWE because I hate them. Uh, <laughs> but, like, I don't know. Maybe this mod was made when they were doing their, like, hiring freeze bullshit. So they set WWE to be like that. I don't know. But I agree with you that it's too easy to, like, take talent. And, like, WWE doesn't even care when we let people go or whatever. I mean, counterpoint would be mm -hmm. they, they kind of let people go all the time, too. Yeah, I guess. Like, pre all of this, Brock is a bit wild to be let go, but his age is might have been factored in and all that shit. Yeah. Like, same with Tina. Like he's forty seven. They might have been looking at it like, all right, let's let's do something else. All right, I'm gonna run the mid south. All right, we're going to run Dickie's Arena. A brand new oh. arena in Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> All right. Last week on Dynamite, Eddie Eddie won the number one contenders match. Roosh was going to tell us why he hates Darby and never did. Uh, oh my god, Roosh is going to get the fucking final match versus Sting. <laughs> Garcia walked into Stokely's uh, skybox and told him to fuck himself. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> For no reason. Uh, Masha and Chris Statlander. Uh huh. We set up the three way for Don. Uh... Oh. Um. Hey, buddy. Um. Can can we take MJF off your brand and make him for both? Yeah. No, he's he's floating now. Okay. Cool. No, he's still a heel. Uh, while you're here, mm -hmm. can you can you do me a solid? Yep. Uh, can you set Jay White to turn? Sure. If that's cool. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm also gonna set to turn while I'm here. Uh, this th th this is not cool, but I'm just gonna listen. It just has to be done. You know what I mean? Wow, you're just gonna tank her. Just gonna tank her. She's gonna be real mad. It's then you're gonna have to give her like twenty thousand. Uh, yeah, that's it. fucking jump change. <laughs> we we spent twenty grand just to tell AAA to fuck themselves. That's fine. <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> that's, that's twenty grand a month. Yeah, it's true. Over five years. <laughs> Worth that's it. That's a million Worth dollars. It. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, all right, let's do this. Eddie Kingston is going to come out and he's going to cut a promo. He's going to be like, well, I was, I was sure ready to wrestle Brock Lesnar, but uh, uh, too bad. Uh, I guess we'll never be seeing 
<laughs> never be seeing him in AEW ever again. Boy, uh, what a shame. Uh, I guess I guess MJF will have to do. You know, MJF. You know, in a way, in a way, I'm happy he won that title. Not just because Brock would have been a tougher match, but because fuck MJF, man. <laughs> this this guy. You know, this wrestling wonderkin, he came in, he was in AEW within three years, he was the champion within five. You know, I'm from Yonkers, he's from the rich suburbs in Long Island. You know, we're two tri-state guys, but we couldn't be any more different. And then, oh my god, MJF is on Dynamite? What? Uh, and then, yeah, this is, this is gonna be the big long talkie, where MJF comes out. And is basically like, yeah, you're right, Eddie Kingston. I am a rich guy from Long Island, and you are a blue-collar schlub from Yonkers. I'm going to outclass you and make you look stupid at AEW Double or Nothing in three to four weeks on pay-per-view. Wow, MJF just as good a promo on Dynamite. <laughs> Neither of us have his voice. No, I'm I'm not enough of a douchebag. I am, but <laughs> try and hide it. Big long talky promo. Yeah, we we definitely had MJF float during his first title. Right? No, we didn't. What? Oh, that's right. It was exclusive. It was exclusive and... to your brand. Oh my gosh. Yep. I forgot. Yeah. His first time. Yeah, his first time on Dynamite in like years. You uh, could also use his boys if you want, by the way. If you ever need. Okay. Not, I mean, again, I probably won't. Not in that promo, but. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, I wanted, feel you. I feel you. I, yeah, that's if fine. You want, like, you know, Eddie versus Mike Bailey, you know. You're yeah. Throw out there. We're going to do a match. We are going to do. We're going to do, like, Dan Garcia. And Samoa Joe and Claudio taking on boy I got a lot of heels huh although I'm not really looking to put them against Stokely's guys yet I'm just looking to have them beat some people I have a lot of I have a lot of pairs of people and then it's like who would the third be? We're gonna do JD Drake, Anthony Henry, and Josh Woods. We're gonna do ten minutes. We're gonna have Dan Garcia win this match. And then we are going to do an angle afterwards where Stokely's team is going to come out and lay these guys out. Danny Garcia, Samoa Joe, and Claudio. So these guys are all fighting. Stokely will be talking. These guys are selling. So yeah, it's just going to be these guys laying him out while Stokely gets on the mic and is like, what I tell you, Dan Garcia? what I tell you? You, you and your little friends, you're all going to pay. You don't talk to me like that. Lashley eliminated lays out. Speaking of, we're gonna have we're gonna have Will Osprey. Uh, he's gonna come out. This this is gonna be a horrendous promo. <laughs> Will Osprey is gonna come out, be like, "Oi, bruv, where's Walter, bruv? I knocked him out in England. Haven't seen him since, bruv." And then Cassiori Shibata is gonna come out with his translator phone. 
and he's going to hold it up to the microphone and be like, you know Walter has a concussion and hasn't been cleared to wrestle. This is all pomp and circumstance, but if you're looking for a fight, I will bring one to you. And that will lead to Will Ospreay versus Shibata. Script these guys. Very good phone voice. Thank you. Honestly, the most scripted promo we've ever done. Because I just literally scripted. I typed the script into his phone. I was like, hit this button. <laughs> Go out there and hit this button. Osprey calls out Walter. He's still concussed. Match with Shamada. We should do Walter off screen. Now I'm wondering here, because these guys probably both have high Puro. Eh, Will's Puro is only okay. Hmm, I think we're just going to go regular match here. You think they could steal the show, Nick? Uh, look at that. the stats. No. No, I don't think so either. Especially since he's 44. and Though his yeah. stamina is still good. The stamina is not what I'm worried about. It's yeah. Not like flashiness. That yeah. Sort of stuff. Although I could be way off base on that. I've never looked into it. Well, Steal the Show should just be like, have the best match possible, right? I wonder if I should try and put on the best match possible. Steal the Show. Receive a pressure. Try to... Are they both faces? Yes. <laughs> They're both faces because Will Ospreay is erroneously set as a face. He should be a heel. This is how I felt about Pac, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tell the Steel Show. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right. Let's do... Oh, we have to do Brian Danielson is going to like storm to the ring. This might even open the show. Danielson is going to like storm to the ring and be like, Bandito, you cost me a match against Eddie Kingston. How dare you? Just because I hurt your little friends, they mean nothing to me. You come out here right now and Bandito is not going to cut a promo. They're just going to fight. I'm just going to do like five minutes fighting. Angry Danielson calls out Bandito. They brawl. Oh, let me look at my notes for a second here. Uh -huh, we got the triple threat. What do I want to do about the triple threat? Um, we also have the Bucks, Bushi, we got Violences Forever, uh -huh. okay, let's do, I think this is going to be our main event. Kenny! Matt, Nick, Coda, taking on Adam Page, Nakajima, Kevin Koo, and Dom Greeny. Though those guys being in the match makes me a little nervous. Uh, we're going to go 16. We are going to go. I want Adam Page. 
that one pin not Kenny? What's that one pin like Coda? Let's have it be tainted. And then we will do a closing segment. Where after the match, Kenny like pushes Adam and he's like, what the hell, man? You cheated. And they're going to like get into it. And then Kanosuke is going to, you know, we're just going to do the big, the big fucking brawl. Sending Kanosuke out there too. And then we're, we're going to run out of people. Let's just do like Matt, Nick, Kota, Katsuhiku. Dom Garini was the recognizable one. He gets to fight. Takeshida comes down post match, leads to huge brawl. Okay. I'm going to do an angle. This angle's for you, Nick. Oh. Uh oh. Yuka Sakazaki's talking to RJ City. Uh, cause last week Masha wrestled Chris Stat. Uh Yuka accidentally cost Chris Stat the match. So, RJ's gonna be like, uh, you know, last week, Yuka Sakazaki, you accidentally hit Chris Atlander. Uh, what, what's going on between you two? And she's gonna be like, oh, not on purpose. Uh, and then Chris Stat's gonna walk up. And, uh, Chris Stat's gonna be like, Yuka, what happened last week? And she's gonna be it's basically the same thing. Like, oh, Chris Stat, oh, sorry, so sorry, didn't mean to hit you. Uh, I was trying to get Masha, but she ducked. I hit you on accident. So sorry. So sorry. Please. <laughs> please don't hit me. So sorry. And then Chris is going to be like, you know what, Yuka? I believe you. It's okay. And then she's going to walk off. And then uh, Yuka, Yuka and RJ are both going to tilt their heads and be like, eh? And then Chris Dat's going to come back into screen. And RJ's going to flinch. And then Chris Dat's going to be like, Good seeing you, RJ. And then she's going to walk off. And then R R RJ City's going to go, what the f... And then it's going to cut. Almost actually rated RJ. That would have been insane. It would have been rated R if he actually got to finish that sentence. <laughs> Chris, that is being nice? To Yuka? Hey, remember when Chris Stat was a pimp person? Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Use some faces over here on Collision, Chris. Just saying. You, you stay away. <laughs> also, they talk. They talked about Masha, so this advances. Oh, does Masha? Masha's kind of just beaten all the faces already, hasn't she? I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right. Well, we have our new women's champions last week, as you remember. Oh, uh, Jordan Grace didn't sign that contract yet, did she? I don't think so. No. All right. So let's do this. We're gonna do. Maki Ito. Um, Trinity. And their friend, Mercedes Martinez. Taking on Emi Sakura, Mei Saruga, and their friend, Diana Perazzo? Okay. Just wanted to make sure I didn't do this exact match. That would have been nuts. 12 minutes. Storytelling. You know what? I think Emmy and May deserve a rematch, and we don't do automatic rematch clauses. So let's go. Let's go, May Saruga. 
pinning Maki Ito with like a flash pin. She's gonna do one of those weird, like weird Joshi roll ups, you know? Ah, uh, the super bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also want to do. This is this is this is a bad idea, but we're gonna have Emmy May and Diana doing a promo uh, before their match, where they're basically gonna be like, uh, you know, Trinity and Maki Ito, we were robbed. How dare you? We're we're still you know Emmy is still the queen. We are still the real champions. The the royalty deserves the titles. And tonight we have an honorary member of the royalty here with Deanna Parazzo. And then Deanna's going to be like, that's right. They're going to, like, give her an honorary cape and crown for their match. The Duchess of New Jersey. <laughs> uh, Deanna Parazzo is an honorary member of royalty tonight. This is... What do you think this is going to get? If this gets above a 50, I'll be happy. My gut was like 13. <laughs> it's going to be higher than that, but it's going to be more than that. It's going to be more than yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's in the forties. Yeah. Uh, oh, we only have 15 minutes left. Fuck me. Okay. Um, oh, my yep. That's what happens when you have like multiple uh multiple women's angles. <laughs> A lot of time gets eaten up. Uh let's do we gotta do something with Big Bill. We gotta do something with Big Bill. Everyone's always saying it. I mean, I they are. Yep. That's what he was checking his phone on during the meeting that Sting yelled at him about. Big Bill and his friends, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett. This is a fucking, this is an assault to me personally. <laughs> <laughs> Taking on the Dark Order. This is a rampage match. Do I have I any? I was going to say, you know you haven't filled your 15 minutes yet. Uh -huh. You're still on Mike. No, no, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, the Dark Order. Right, Tim Thatcher's here. Right. You don't, you don't want to do Tim Thatcher and the Funky Chickens? <laughs> I don't. Although, honestly, great team. Evil Uno, Stu, Johnny Hungy. Uh, this goes eight. Big Bill's winning. And then we are going to do a promo. Again, Big Bill, Don Callis, Jake Roberts. Let's not rate Bill this time. Where they're just going to be like, you know, Jake's going to be like, you know, finally, finally someone's getting behind Big Bill. Someone's that's listening to me. Unlike those jerks, Orange Cassidy and Johnny Gargano. He's gonna, and you know, Don just be like, ah, yes, look at, look at Big Bill. What he, <laughs> he's seven feet tall, and you can't teach that. It's true. Don, Don, you might be being sued. Don. People who believe in Big Bill. That doesn't. That doesn't need to be five minutes. Doesn't need to be five minutes. I tried doing research, and I think how good you are on Steel the Show it depends on your stamina. Well, we should be good on that opening match then. Stamina is a factor. Yeah. Because it drains stamina faster, so if you aren't good on it, you're going to get the penalties quicker. But I think it is just like, can you wrestle good? Hexamir Shibata and Will Ospreay are stealing the show. 
Well, they can wrestle good, and he has stamina, so I think it should be fine. Yeah, I, I, yeah. it is a good test. Uh, ring comp. No. I don't want to do anything. Although, honestly, my, I could probably do steal the show in my main event, although I'm a little afraid to. Um, I need one more match aim. Let me see. Pin's not a storytelling? What's that? You don't think the flash pin is storytelling? That match is storytelling already. I have that oh. that's storytelling and then the Shibata matches steal the show and I need a third. Okay, okay. Um So yeah, these guys could probably steal the show, right? Although, again, I'm a little afraid about these guys. And I certainly could give this match storytelling, but I don't want to. Although, yeah, Dom's got really good stamina. Ku's stamina is not as good, but it's a, it's a 4v4 match. Alright, let's fuck it. 15 minutes, steal the show. Let's try it. That's the most. That's the most the steal the show can go, right? Uh, unless you have like super high stam, yeah. Yeah. So now we're one short again. So who wants that extra minute? Oh, actually, could I give someone a real short thing? Darby's not doing anything. Orange Cassidy's not doing anything. Roosh. Hey. Oh, nothing with Roosh and Darby at all. That seems. It seems criminal, and also Sting announced his retirement, and then you don't have him on the show. Well, he's not retiring for like two months. You know what this needs? You know what this needs? Black and white Darby video. Haven't done one of those in ages. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. It's Darby. It's Sting. They're driving... Actually, I don't think I need to script them. They're driving out in the desert. Uh, they They pull into like an abandoned warehouse... They start like breaking stuff or whatever. And it's dark. It's gonna be Darby being like, you know, Roosh. I never got what you what you had against me, but I don't care anymore. You've you've pushed me past the point of caring or understanding. You've caused me so much pain. You've been such a thorn in my side. I am just sick and tired of it. I let's end it at double or nothing. He would say it in a way more like goth and emo way. Black and white Darby video. He's not just cutting a baby face promo, but in black and white. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wants to settle the score with Roosh at, at dawn. Never do a steal the show match with anyone under 60 psych. I almost never check psych. Unless it was the ROH save, because no one had psych, and I had to, like, mix and match people with, like, the people that didn't have psych with the people that did. Psych is, I think, one of the most important stats in, like, how people do. Uh, let's see. I want to open with the Danielson thing. Where did that go? Angry Danielson calls out Bandito. Sure. And then let's do... Yeah, sure, Cal's Family versus Dark Order. Uh-huh. Black and White Darby video. Oh, lots of talking, lots of stuff in a row here. Um... I think this Shibata match that happened before the six-man tag where they get laid out, because that would answer why Shibata's not there, because he just wrestled and he's, I don't know, in the fucking showers or whatever. So let's put this here. And then we'll do Shibata, Will Osprey. Uh, Okay. 
Okay, I'll show you if I search about uh that way turn video, Tiana. Uh -huh. up a little bit don't it's it's not it's not a placement mode session if i don't do that at least once chris that is being nice to yuka is very high up the card now well, well it's a very important segment i might end with this eddie and mjf promo oh that is a uh... That is interesting. Yeah, because I don't really believe in this match. Eh, although, and the big brawl, having a big brawl and then doing a 10 minute promo after seems weird. Because this is very much like the end of the show brawl. Yeah, fuck it. We'll do it right before the main event. Although that's also kind of weird. All right, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Completely changing things. We're going to move it all the way to first. Yeah, it would it would start the show. Yeah. And you have the, the champ. And then this coming. brawl thing we will do right before the main event. Well, I just kind of like the idea of the show opens and like the pyro like the pyro's going off while Danielson is like storming to the ring. Being like, "Where the fuck is Bandito?" Like I thought that was a cool opening to the show. I do love that. Yeah. But uh, we'll do it this way. It's fine. I have no idea what this is going to get because this main event could this could get like an 84 or it could get like a 76. You know what I mean? Very concerned I, about that. As someone who booked a lot of multi-man tag matches in uh -huh. the main event. Uh -huh. Didn't go well for you. I'm I'm concerned. Yeah. Well, we've got a we've got a hot storyline because Kenny and Adam are in it, and I told them to steal the show, so I'm hoping that'll help. Yes, but yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go conservative and say like eighty three. See, I I think I think it'll be less. Than, I think it'll be an eighty three or more. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. No, I mean this was gonna get a hundred. There was no way this wasn't gonna get a hundred. If this got anything less than... Like, if this got a 99, I would have been like, what the fuck? <laughs> Listen, MGF only brings his A-games on Saturday night. Yes. Yeah, 10 minutes, Eddie and MJF. Probably pretty good on the mic. Yeah, it, it would... I mean, personally, I think Eddie would probably kind of eat him alive, but uh, maybe he'd be nice. No, he'd eat him alive. He'd eat him alive, too. Honestly, a 63 is, like, perfectly fine for this match. I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, you said it was a Rampage match, yep. and it was. It, it was. Best worker in the match? Matt Taven. Fuck off. Matt Taven, number one, baby. John that, Silver is in that match. For, former off. ROH champion, Matt Taven, number one. That is true. John Silver is not a former ROH yep. world champion. And then these guys cut a promo where they were like, Big Bill is big and Orange Cassidy is stupid. But you know what? Fair. True. <laughs> true and true. Uh, yeah, I mean, considering this was Shibata holding a phone up to a microphone, uh, I'll take a 60. The phone was the most articulate person in the promo. <laughs> yeah, it's the, only, it's the only thing anyone can understand. Uh, 67. Oh, they didn't click. Well, that sucks. Right. So I think the match would have been fine. Yeah, I was going to say, this proves nothing. <laughs> Thank thanks, game. The Although, I wonder if they didn't click because it was a Steal the Show match. No, that is just a random brawl. It's just random? All right. 72 for the black and white video. Good. Yep. Good, good. Fifty-eight. I said if this got over fifty, I'd be happy. So I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I'm shocked it got that high. May and Emmy. May is over, and Emmy is kind of over. 
Yeah, you've been doing good work. Yeah. I, some may say I've been doing God's work. May would say that. Yes. And a 58 for the match. Match exactly the same. Happy with this. Your eyes are really good. Yep. We just kind of let her chill for yeah. a year almost. 66 here. Okay. Mm hmm. Henry was really off his game. Don't like that. Expected that to do a little better. Yep. Oh, this isn't too great either. We, we got a lot of new stories going on, and they're not all clicking. No, not yet. Yeah. It'll take time. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. 59. Okay, great. Oh, fuck off, game. This is great. <laughs> this game doesn't know what it's doing. Uh, 79 for Danielson and Bandito. I really need this stuff at the end of the show. Like, this has not been a good show. Oh, it needs to really come together. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a 76. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah. Yep. Nakajima was off his game. Yep. That sucks. Uh, yeah, I mean, no one, you know, no one, like, did especially bad or anything. It was just, it was just okay. I should have just done the fucking triangle tag match, but I gotta save that. We still got like three more weeks. <laughs> uh, and a 67. This show sucked. 81. I mean, I'll take it. Really hard carried by the Eddie and MJF promo. Yeah. Yeah. This was a collision. A little bit. What, yeah, a little bit. Like, ah, we're gonna have a stinky show and MJF's gonna save it. Yeah. Actually, yeah, because if, if if I had, like, forgotten to ask you for MJF, although I kind of I probably could have just had Eddie cut a really long promo. That probably would have got 100, too. But still, if I didn't ask you for MJF, this is, like, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter's going crazy right now about how MJF was the only good part of that show. Yep. Rampage, baby. All right. Um, I have a tag match I would like to do. Hit me. Okay. Uh, I would like. Uh, bah, 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 sorry. Uh, Tony Nice. Tony Nice. And John Spears. Okay. Yeah, we're rampaging, baby. Yeah. Can uh, you can you see. tell I sent Nick an updated uh, screen grab of who's on his roster last week? Yes, yeah. I asked for it. Yeah. I needed to know who could work Rampage. Shinsuke and Dalton Castle, please. Oh, yeah. Shinsuke and Dalton Castle was the thing you tried for a week, like, two months ago. Yep. Yeah. Forgot about it's that. Shins uh, Shinsuke's winning. Give Dalton a win. Sure. How long would you like this to go? 10 is fine. Okay. 10 is too much, probably, but it's fine. I was going to say, like, 8. Yeah, eight's fine, yeah. too. Where are we? Mid-South? Who's who's local? We got anyone cool over here? This can't be everybody. That That's just got to be... Yes, yeah, women. ACH? Oh, he's not in the biz. They should remove people not in the biz from this. Yeah. I feel like... That's like an easy thing that they should have done. Uh, no, we did not mention Nick having FTR when we were talking about his 2015 NXT roster. Which I is... also was going to make a joke about that. Yeah. Because I was thinking of what tag teams to uh, put into a match. And I was like, oh, yeah, I have FTR. Oh, we didn't even mention FTR. Yeah, you did a four way number one contenders tag match and didn't book FTR. That's nuts. Yeah. That's because I put I booked four good teams. Damn. Got them. Uh, I also have Juice Robinson. Another another solid NXT guy. Sean Spears. Crazy out here. Uh, 
Spears is not a baby face because he hadn't healed from his injury yet when this started. So he was still set as a heel. I think. Also, I, I really don't. car ass match hey yo what the fuck oh is there a six Jakara guy I can put it on the heel side yes sorry well I mean Claudio <clears throat> first of all he's a baby face not nah, in Jakara <laughs> Serpentico is like spiritually a Jakara wrestler you know what I mean yep yeah same with Luke yeah. Yeah, fuck it, man. Serpentico. Now this is Rampage. <laughs> this is wild, is what it is. I want to do an angle after the match. Of course. Johnny's gonna get on the mic. I get—I mean, Chuck and Trent are there, but I'm not gonna let them talk. Although, it, although in my head, the person that would actually say this would be Track would be Chuck. He's basically just gonna get on the mic and be like, "Big Bill, more like Big Bitch." And then the other guys gonna be like, "Oh damn, you can't say that." <laughs> I said it. I said it. I never liked him. This is not even a rampage. This is dark. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Serpentico is in the match. I can't argue. <laughs> this is dark. Uh, I have a, a promo. Okay. And I'd also like to check the, the two women to see if either of them got to recognize them. I highly doubt it. But the promo is going to be Ethan Page coming out uh, and demanding Kushida give him back his glasses. Uh, Kushida's going to come out and, and be like, what the fuck? Uh, and he's going to get attacked by Baron Goodbye. Oh, it's a setup. And they're going to take the glasses again. <laughs> This is just fucking Yoshitatsu with the action figure. Oh shit, is it? Yeah, from fucking... What was that called? NXT... Uh, the final season? Or the... Whatever, uh, yeah. The, like, there was NXT The Reality Show, and then there was NXT Triple H NXT. But in between, there was like this shitty, never-ending season of NXT. I think ladder match is too good for this. I think it's oh, glasses Daredevil, on a whole I'm a match. I'm a hundred percent with you. That is exactly where this is ending. No, it's got to be on a pole, bro. My dude, I've already written it down. <laughs> good life lays a trap for Kushida. Are you gonna do a ladder match on Rampage? No, I'm gonna do a ladder match on fucking Collision. Okay, NXT Redemption. That's what it was called. Thank you. Oh, redemption. Yeah, Jesus. It was, it was bad. I'm going to give these people a main event. Famous last words. Okay. What do you got? Tim Thatcher's recognizable. Tim Thatcher's really good at brawling. Tim Thatcher oh. and Roosh, let's fucking go! Oh my god. <laughs> if, if that's the main event, they're sitting through some real shit and then, like, getting it. Yep. At the end there. Rush is just gonna. <laughs> After the match, Rush is gonna like keep stomping uh, Tim Thatcher and then get on the mic and be like, 
just incoherent yelling about Darby Allen. Uh, incoherent yelling intensifies. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know, here's what I forgot the thing I was gonna do for Roosh and Darby. Okay, remember when they did that black and white video and I just cut a, a spooky, uh, I just cut like a generic baby face promo. We're gonna roll that back, and that spook, that black and white video was uh, Darby hanging out in a graveyard and shit, and he challenged him to a, a, ca a coffin match at Double or Nothing. Okay. Yes. That that that's what happened. It it, it was a. We can fix it in post. It's fine. Um, and then Roosh is just going to yell and accept it. Roosh accepts a coffin match with Darby at dawn. And yeah, he's just going to be fucking... Coffin match! I don't give a sh <laughs> What the hell is that? I don't care! We got ten minutes. We need promos. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm just looking over my stuff here because I have something I want to do, but I think it might be too good for Rampage here. I mean, I got. I can. All right, you could. I need to get these guys over, you know? Yep. Uh, basically just gonna be like... I give them... You know, give them five minutes. Fuck it. I don't know how on earth they're gonna get this to five minutes, but I believe in Stokely. He can do it. It's basically just gonna be him and Bobby being like, ah, Daniel Garcia... You out your damn mind coming in here talking that shit to me. What did I tell you? You started beef with the wrong people, man. You think just because you got Samoa Joe and Claudio and Walter. Walter ain't even here, man. Will Ospreay cracked his skull like an egg. You're on your own, big boy. <laughs> then Bobby Lashley's just going to be like, this is the warm-up I need. We're going to take out Ring Comp. We're going to pick them off one by one. And then big Bobby Lashley. He's going to be back in world title contention. And then th these three guys are just going to be standing behind him, like, gassing him up. Stoke and Bobby Dis Garcia. I don't think I have this set up as a uh, storyline. Story no. none, none of my stuff is storylines either. No. Let me just make sure. Oh, I have Jericho. Okay, okay, all right. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna add a million workers to this. Oh, is Bobby in a different thing? Is that is that what's happening here? Is he in Best Friends versus Callus Family? No. He's not in the talk one, is he? Maybe. He sure is. Okay. Got to, got to change that. So let's go back to Jericho Garcia. You should just start a new one, dude. Does this have heat? No, it Same. has no heat. Yeah, you're right. We should just start a new one. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't want to lose the heat. No, in fact, you do want to lose that. Yeah, that's true. Flash Limited. First ring comp. We're going to do Bobby. And let's put Stokely in it. Fuck it. Although Stokely would not, he would be a supporting role. Let's do Danny Garcia. Uh, Who's going to be Daniel's main guy? Let me think about that. We'll just put it Daniel for now. Fuck it. We'll worry about it later. Uh, five more minutes. I'm looking over my stuff. Oh, golly, I have something. Uh-huh. Uh, can I get away with an angle? 
Yeah, we need angles. Okay, angle. Yep. Uh, Malachi. Buddy Murphy. Or Buddy Matthews. Um, Malachi tells Buddy Matthews that the corruption has overtaken him. Oh. And he is no longer... He needs to take time away to purge the corruption from his body. And he sets Buddy Matthews free. Ending the House of Black. Wow. On Rampage! Malachi frees Buddy Matthews and ends Hob. How long is this? Give him five. Let him let him let him get all of his spookiness out of okay. his system. Alright. Um not not just a House of Black promo, the final House of Black promo. Ju Julia is in the Bullet Club because reasons. Julia, Julia is in the Bullet Club because she went with Brody King. I'm listen, as long as we're booking stupid promos. Let's go. Uh, it's just going to be them yelling about how they won this six-woman tag and they want a rematch. They're going to prove that they are royalty. And Maki Ito and Trinity are just filthy commoners. What a rampage. What a rampage. What opens this fucking show? Um, big Bill, more like big bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean. That's going to keep him around. That's going to keep him around. That'll put butts in seats. And then a bunch of talking. And then a Sean Spears match. And then a bunch more talking. Oh, this is way and, too high. And then an honest-to-goodness banger. Uh, hopefully. We'll see, what, we'll see what Big Tim gets. Um, There's no, like, banger promo on this, I don't think. So, like... 65. Six, yeah, 66. Yep, that's... Yep. That's about right. Oh, that, that's why I don't book Serpentico. Right. <laughs> Cor yep. Correct. Yeah, okay. Big Bill? More like Big Bitch. Got Six. him. The fans did not agree, but you yeah. got him. 55, I'll take it. Wow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's over boys I'm laughing because this only did three points better than Emmy and May I mean given how things have been going for the two groups I'm surprised it did better yeah Emmy and May is just fucking May Saruga being a goblin and screaming uh, more entertaining than most Malachi Black yeah movies. I mean fair Okay, great. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. You, re you really did a number to Shinsuke. I mean, he wasn't good, but you just... He's cooked. I I can, I can fix him. I... Mm. This tag team's gonna work. This this was worse than the Emmy and May promo. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. We'll get him there. All right. 65, this is fine. This technically started that storyline, so I guess 65 is, like, a perfectly fine way to start it. Yes. Yeah. Better than, you know, 
on the other side. Ethan Page yeah. laid a cunning trap. This accidental storyline has been the crux of Rampage for the last month. Now, Tim only got a 57, although I will say this was a wild brawl, which isn't, you know, it's not it's like... Not his bag, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's good at wild. He Like, he was pretty good at brawling, but it's not like his thing. Right. So I'll, I'll give him a little bit of a pass here. Then 65. 67. I said a 66. I was very close. Yes. Uh, this show was, in fact, saved by Rush and Trashy Tim. That's good. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to give him a full-time contract? Oh, yeah. I only signed him for a month. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I a 57 is not, like, full-time contract material. I shouldn't have said anything and just let you keep booking him and then be like, where'd he go? I mean, he'll tell us when he leaves. Ah, true, 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 true. Yeah. Uh, okay. He took it. Oh, five years. Great. I was going to say, I hope we gave him a long contract. We did. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Jordan Grace. You are you are a heel. That's what I'm going to make her. Perfect. Uh, Rocky Romero looks okay. Sarah Stock. Chris Bay is going to be a star. Well, hopefully. We're trying. Yeah, that's why That's why we signed him. That's why we put him in a group. We, I really, I really want people to know how out of my way I went to make sure Lee Moriarty and Chris Bay and Ace Austin had a group. I could have dropped that thing cold turkey so hard. Yeah, you didn't even tell the, the stream yet what your plan was. So you could have just been like, ah, no, Chris, Chris Bay and... They're, they're just a tag team. Yeah, I could have just made them a tag team, and I could have just—they could have just been a tag team that loses on Rampage. But I was now, like, yeah, a tag team that talks on Rampage. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They didn't even talk; they just stood there. <laughs> uh, ooh, we got double Chris Bay emails. Wow. I don't, I don't think that's happened yet. Wow. Yeah, people. Chris Bay is just. Maybe he's just hanging out with our road agents all day, you know what I mean? Maybe he's just schmoozing back there. Or maybe he's the next AEW World Champion. Maybe he's the one. I mean, <laughs> next AEW World Champion. <laughs> I don't know about the next one, but, uh, you know, future, who knows, you know? The future's already really weird. I should have checked Killer Kelly, but in my defense, there were like a hundred contracts up that day. Yeah. 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 You could still. You could still. I mean, we could still steal her. It doesn't matter. No. Yeah, she's getting fifties. Yeah. We'll we'll let her stay there. We we've poached enough of Impact's women. They need to push somebody now, and then we'll steal her. Honestly, we should probably let some of our talent go more than anything, but the contracts are coming up. It's happening. Mm -hmm. Soraya could go to Impact now. Disband the House of Black before you forget. They they might already be, but I'll double check. They technically aren't a stable because there's only two people in it. Yeah. So it's fine, but I would like you to make the oh, Devil's, the Court. Devil's Court, of course. Yeah, let's go to stables. Just double check all these best friends. That's good. You could remove you from the black pool. Yep. In, in fact, uh, yeah, just use for now. Uh, Death Triangle, sure. Uh, 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 is, is, is this still a thing? 
No, this done been over. I don't okay. know why it's still here. I don't know why. I, I we must just scroll by it every time, and I don't say anything. Oh, could be. Green Cliff, yeah. Callus family. A lot of managers in the Callus family. God, look at that group. <laughs> what about it? What, what Adam Page <laughs> and his dweebs. <laughs> uh huh. Jeez. Roderick Strong's not a dweeb. <laughs> you couldn't even finish. He's not. <laughs> okay, but Big Bill. Big Bill's big. He can't. You can't be a big dweeb. His name's Bill in 2024. Uh huh. Uh, Dark Order. Dark Order still trucking along. You know. Yep. yep. In the good life. All right. Add stable. The Devil's Court. MJF is the leader. D does anyone else get a... Nah, this is like a no. MJF cult. MJ MJF in... goon. Yeah. Yeah. MJF goon is a very at, like, apt way to describe it and also a terrible way to describe it. Nothing with devil in it. Okay. Wow. I'm shocked. Uh, Satan. Damn. Satan would be wild. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of weird stables, you know? This is one of these things that we do, like, every stream. And it really doesn't matter, but I just like to do it. Try demon. You know that's that's a good one. Although at this point we might as well just keep scrolling. I was gonna say there's also nothing for like hell or anything like that, but maybe damn nation. Damn nation. Yeah, we could give them the damn nation logo. That's not bad. I like the one with the skull. Although that won't matter because they'll be over it. Right. Uh. Decay. Uh, I just sure if MJS mask that would work. Try hell. No. All right, we're gonna give them the damnation logo. <laughs> Actually, we are gonna pick this one because it does have damnation in the corner. Perfect. Beautiful. It's interesting. It's interesting. I mean, with those. I mean, that point, yeah. When you look at it like that, it looks fine. Yeah. It, it could even say Devil's Court if, if it, when it's real small like that. Who, you know what I mean? Yeah, hold on. Let me take this off full screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That definitely yeah, it says Devil's, says Devil's Court. Court. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It starts with a D. It's, it's got to be Devil's Court. Mm, the politics of Andrade El Idolo. Uh-oh. Are they trying to say he got Brock fired? Because that's not true. I want to put a stop to that rumor right now. I mean, he he might have asked for it, but we also were like, yeah, we're yeah, no, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Yeah, we got it, man. Okay, Commander Vince. is still working for both. Good for him. Uh, Chris Daniels extended his deal with ROH. Fergal's here. Mm -hmm. Now, do do you want to call him Prince Devitt? I've been going back and forth on this quite a bit. Mm hmm Because I don't know what I want to do with him. Okay. I mean, I don't, you know, if I was you, I would either bring him into the Bullet Club or have him fight the Bullet Club. No, I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I should, I don't know what I want to do with his name, I should say. Is he going to be in the Bullet Club or fighting the Bullet Club? He's a face, so he's He's fighting. a face. Uh... Because if you were going to put him in Bull Club, I'd be like, yeah, just call him Prince Devitt. But, like, yeah, you might want to call him something different. Do you want to just call him Fergal? Go with, uh... Let's go with Finn Devitt. That's fine. Finn Devitt. Everyone knows him as Finn, anyway. Uh, we want to spell it with, like, one N so we don't get sued. Or, like, P-H-I-N, Finn. Like Phineas and Ferb? Yeah, no, like I Phineas and Ferb. I'm all set with that. I mean, Finn. I don't think we could just call him Finn. <laughs> That's his name from WWE. It's a fucking name. Yeah. 
Listen, man, they're litigious. They well, <laughs> they might they might be actually pretty busy with their. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll think of something. <laughs> All right, I'll just leave them for now. Yeah. Finn Balor Demon. Pegasus Kid 2, when was that? Also, don't call him that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you ready to book another collision? I actually am not. I apologize. Okay. Well, do, do you want to, or do you want to save it until next week? No, let's save it. Okay. I I am uh, feeling not great. Yeah, same. So, I've been sick so. all stream. Yeah. All right, let's let's go forward uh, one show with you. Also, oh, you know what? I need to put Jordan on my roster. That's fine. Oh, storylines. We uh -huh. remember to do it. Do we want to just end this stream up with storylines for me? Because yeah, sure. I need to change some up. See, King Devitt was also on my list. But every time I like said that, I just then immediately thought of Seth yelling Demon King down the hall. Mm. And was like, well, can't do that. Never will take him seriously. Cole KOR is continuing. Okay. Uh, Hook BCC. No. No, but it's a hot storyline, and Hook will be involved with Moxley, so take out Wheeler Yuta. Okay. Uh, and we can add Miro to it. We have to end Miro Punk first. Yes, please. All right. This is more rad too, right? Hook versus BBC? Yes, yes, yes. BCC? Ooh. That's easy to do. Mm hmm <laughs> Now, I feel bad for making fun of Renee so much when she did it. I hope Renee goes on Twitter and makes fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would be thrilled. I hope she does, too. I deserve it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Penta Christian continuing. Great. Uh, Shida Monet, add Davina to it. I feel like we should have called her Davina, all caps. I already have Benny, all caps. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Swerve Keith. It's over. You're just going to have them double turn and that's it? I feel like you can run the match back with them as opposite sides now. Now it's like a fresh match. Uh, we can't... Well, no, because... Oh, no, they didn't do it that way. Never mind. Uh, we could, but I have other plans for Swerve. All right. They we, they might get there eventually, but... Are you starting a new storyline for Swerve right now? Yes. Okay. Otherwise, I would just let it chill. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Uh, so, new storylines... Uh, well, MJF is your storyline, right? MJF Eddie? Um, I mean, I don't have that set up right now, but I should. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not going to use him at the moment. I mean, you can right. use him. He's, he's your guy. He always has been. In a storyline, I'm not going to use yeah. him. At the so, the two that I need to add... Mm-hmm. Mustafa Ali versus Ricky Starks. Okay. And Swerve versus CM Punk. Okay, so we're we're doing we're doing the damn thing. Yeah, no. This is we are pulling the trigger here. Uh, 
Uh, oh, Finn's here, so I could actually yeah. do. Uh, let Let's start Finn J Light. Or sorry, I'll put Devitt. Devit. Yeah, because I feel like whatever we call him, we'll have Devit in it. Yeah, Danny Devito. All right, that's all I got. All right, well that's all we got. This will be a kind of a shorter episode, but that's that's fine. I've I don't know if y'all noticed, I I'm sick. I've been muting a lot this whole stream. Yeah, it's for people watching in the future when it's like 80 and I don't know July or something it, it's fucking January and it's just it's miserable out there man oh the, the fuck thing is it is 80 here but I still got sick uh it was it was a little cold quote unquote last week it was like in the 50s but yeah this week it's been like really nice out and this was the week I got sick so that's cool yeah love we, that we for have... me we had the solid 15 degree day followed by 50 degree day. So yeah. my body's, I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah. Okay, let's just go ahead here and see what happens. Nothing, nothing's gonna happen, but you know. What are you talking about? Pink Destroyer happened. <laughs> Pink Destroyer. You know what? Say what you want about Pink Destroyer. He's tough and resilient. Gotta hand it to him. And charismatic. Yeah, but zero sex appeal. Well, I, I think know, that's man. fair. I've seen, I've seen some search histories. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, these all these people resigned. Yep. Yep. All right. Great. Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix. Uh, Eddie Kingston left ROH in New Japan because I signed him to an exclusive. He was like getting in trouble in ROH, and I was like, "Stop!" Just... <laughs> yeah, don't. But if you came in, yeah, won the world title instead, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tavion Heights got extended. Thank God. All right. Well, that's gonna do it. Uh, we'll be back. Well, I'll be back on Tuesday, as I think. I mean. I gotta assume by Tuesday I'll be feeling better. So, Tuesday, WCW. It's Starcade time. We're there. It's the go-home shows and then Starcade. And then, not long after that, it'll be 1993. What a world. Uh, and then, of course, next week we'll be back with more AEW. Where we are... What? Three weeks away from Double or Nothing? Twenty, Yeah, three weeks. 22 days. So... Pretty far out still, but hey, we know some matches for that show. You know, we got we got MJF and Eddie Kingston. We got the triple threat blow off with Kenny Hangman and Takeshita. We got a coffin match with Darby and Roosh. Boy, you can really tell I've been itching to run a pay per view for like six weeks. And you got kind of hosed with the time frame, but yeah, it's it is what it is. All right, that's gonna do it. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks, appreciate it. Drop a like, subscribe. Leave a comment, all that good stuff. See you guys next time. Bye.